Hi everyone, this is a quick introduction tutorial of the uh, selectable preview component in Grasshopper. We go to our Grasshopper and uh, we see that there is a three dimensional array of points in Grasshopper. If you go to the uh, Rhino environment and you try to select these points, it doesn't respond to any of the selection because they're just preview objects. But if you go to uh, the user after you installed it, user preview tab, select for preview, and you pull out the component and you connect the point to it, let's also add a panel to the output and then hide the uh, original points. You can see that these points are being generated inside um, Rhino, and of course they are selectable. And the thing is that this component, its output, also corresponds to the selection. And after you make the selection, you see there is a button here on the component. If you double click on it, it will lock the selection. At the same time, it will also remove the, uh, the preview points, objects, and then just keep the grasshopper points for you for um, further manipulation. So let's do it again. Let's unlock it. You can select it and you can lock it. Also uh, come with the component are two other two output. One is the, uh, the path of these points or these objects which you can see here. And also the other output is the index of these uh, objects. If you uh, try to um, maintain the uh, tree structure, you can also right click on the component and say toggle maintain path so that the output will um, be in the same kind of data tree structure as the input. And this component also uh, corresponds or responds to the uh, preview button. Also um, respond to the uh, enable button. So the when you click off the or turn off the preview button, it hides those points. And when you disable them, it kind of removes those points. And also the selection, if you look at the selection here, if I save my uh, Rhino file or save my Grasshopper file, and I close the file and I open it again, you can see that the selection is persistent through writing and saving files. So this is like the quick introduction of this component. If you have any questions, feedback, or uh, bug reports, please let me know.